What's up, everybody? We're back out on Lake Gunnersville. Choke it, too. Oh, boy. Oh, this is a big one. Hang on, I'm coming around the boat, please. I got mine in the floor. You can't even see the crankbait on this fish. Oh, uh, come here, fish. Hell, I don't have a net. Today's actually a really cool day. Yesterday, I spent half the day filming with a good friend of mine, a guy that I've started working for, doing helping with their social media. Mark Stowe, he owns The Direction TV. It's a TV show on the Pursuit Channel. Really, really cool. He fishes with a bunch of different guys. And just really quickly, I'm gonna get Mark to kind of introduce what, he's got, a, he's got a different sponsor. A lot of people, you see the rat boats and fishing, you see rods and rails or bait companies. Here, we've got the 811 boat. So I'm gonna let Mark tell a little bit about 811. What exactly is 811? Well, it's real simple. It's the number you call before you dig. It's actually the law in all 50 states. It's something that's going to keep you safe. If you're ever out there planting a tree, putting up a fence, if you got to dig a fence post, there's electric, water, gas, all these utilities in the ground. We call it infrastructure. you got to know that's there because if you were to hit that water, hit that gas, especially gas and electric, you could get injured. So you call 811. They come out and mark those utilities when you're planting that tree or putting a fence post in the ground or putting up a mailbox, you're not gonna hit one of those. You're not gonna get injured. And one that's gonna keep you safe too, it's not gonna cost you any money to have it fixed. Almost like he's done that spill before. This show actually isn't gonna air until next year sometime. Um, it's, I think, the 13th, 14th of May right now in 2018, so this show's gonna film, 2019. This show's gonna film in 2020. Right. But really quickly, we're not gonna bore you with the details. We're throwing some uh, we're throwing some big crankbaits. We're fishing deep, we're fishing ledges, a lot of cranking going on, 10 XDs, a spoon, a big chatterbait. Um, just trying to get down deep. We're fishing for post spawn fish. Um, yesterday we caught we caught several fish. The end of the day, really, really cool. It, did. it was worth it. Look at him coming up school over there. Oh, yeah, right there. Here we go. Biggin? Pull them back a little bit. Oh, that's got a little bit of hit. How about that, baby? You said they I got another one too. Oh, that's yeah. a big one. Here we go. Oh, oh yeah, yes, baby. Son. Look at that. Choke it too. Oh, boy. Oh, this is a big one. Hang on. I'm coming around the boat, please. I got mine in the floor. You can't even see the crankbait on this fish. Oh, come here, fish. Hell, I don't have a net, but that's all right. Well, that's a bear hand him. Come here, baby. Let me grab you by the belly. Yes, son. Look how that crankbait is eight. Look. You can't beat that. That's a double up. That's a Lake Gunners will double up. Right son, there. that's a way to, to kind of wrap up a day right here. Take off. Look at that fish. I love it. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. So, yeah, we're going to get back out on the water right now. Film another day's episode and we're trying to vlog a little bit of it. I'm actually gonna release this episode so when y'all are watching it, it's gonna be several months down the road. But this Tuesday, 7 Eastern, this show will be live. Make sure y'all check it out on the Pursuit channel. And yeah, we'll see y'all in the water. All right, so yesterday did a broke off a couple times. Well, I broke off one time on a really giant. So today I'm gonna spool up some new 10 pound line on my cranking rod. So I'm gonna retie this line I broke off yesterday on a big one. And I can just feel, when you throw a 6XD a bunch, the bait, if you know when you make that long cast, you'll see the bait helicopter. Well, you reel it in, you make another cast and it helicopters again. You reel it in, make another cast, helicopters again. Well, you've twisted your line a million times. So, especially when you're cranking a bunch, I pretty much, I'm gonna try to re-spool as much as I can. If I've got line, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reuse it line because that twist gets all the way down deep in your line and you can feel it and you can hear it going through your guides. It sounds like you've got a bunch of fray in your line, but it's not fray, it's just a bunch of twist. But on those long casts, it, it might work its way down 70 yards down in your spool. So I just personally like to retie when I can or put new line on at least. Make sure you fill the spool all the way up. Tie a power worn on on basically everything. I like to change line so I can make sure that I don't break off. Now let's go try to catch some. Yeah, they're way over to the left, right there. Pull them back. Is he? Oh, hold on, you're on. Here, let me get on this side of you. 
I got one too. Oh, he came off. Double. He just came off. He smashed it on the way up. Come on. That'd be cash dude. money. I mean, it is just flat game on out of here. I mean, game on to the <laughs> chesty camera right there. I ain't never talked to somebody's <laughs> chest before. <laughs> oh, good stuff. We, we worked hard for this moment. Yeah, we? we did work hard for this moment. There you go. Came back and got Came it. Came back and got it. He missed it the first time. He said, let me have that a second time. Uh, I don't want to crank back to the face. You know, look how many of them have are missing the crank. I know. See, he ate it, ate it. That's what you want. How many doubles is that? That's four or five. Cheers. Cheers again. This I is hope what Trey is on the show. Because if y'all look at Trey right now, he's just slumped over on the side, just really <laughs> wishing he could fish. We're gonna have to have an interview with Trey We've because we're gonna have to know Trey. what it's like to sit and watch somebody pound on fish. That you pointed out. That he pointed that out. That he pointed out. <laughs> I mean, the guy in the other boat says they're right beside you. We would have never thrown at those fish for sure. I wouldn't have. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, big one. Is our GoPro on or off? It's off. Oh, oh, I got a oh, oh well, he's got two I got on a double, there. I got a double. Look at this. He got a double with a good one on that. Hold on. Wait a minute now. I got one good one. We got to grab the old net on that one. You got them both? Oh, oh look at there. Oh, baby. Look at That's the biggest one of the day, too. <laughs> yeah, son. <laughs> How about that for a smite down right there? There's our double. No, that's a. That's awesome. <laughs> I'll elbow you. I'm not gonna hit you that hard. Holy smokes, look Bro, at that. He broke that crankbait. He broke that treble hook right there. Look at that fish. Doubled up, I mean. That is awesome. Trey kept saying there's a big ones over there. And the last couple casts, look at this. Here, you Two of them on there. Hook the little one. That is plum crazy right there. Plum crazy Tell is all I'm gonna say. People, it's been one of them days you just, I, I don't even know what to say. I mean, it's been fish after fish, double after double. I mean, filming this episode, we've been down here with Darian. He's been telling me that these fish are biting like that. We struggled for a while and just lit them up. That's all I'm going to say. I mean, it's the only words for it. Lit them up. And the best part, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't even think I had the chesty going or GoPros going a lot on this. But Trey, Swindle, right there. Um, he's out here running the camera boat. We got a camera guy in that boat. We got a camera guy in this boat. And they've been working hard. Trey's been just sitting around, really not doing a ton. But he points and he's like, hey, they're right here. They literally throw right here, right there, right below us. We fire over there, first cast, catch one. Mark throws out there, catch one. We'd actually doubled up the first time. Then the next cast, Mark catches one. And we just went on a flurry that doesn't happen a ton it does happen on gunnersville pretty good bit this time of year but a lot of fun catching them on a big crankbait um we actually caught so many today on this crankbait that um doesn't swim anymore it sinks it's sinks. so that one's going to be retired hung on the wall by my 811 um big catch of the day or prize of the day what was that a word you got the 811 moment of the week moment of the week i got the 811 man. moment of the week and um so we'll probably get a sticker probably put that on the, on the wall probably hang the crankbait by the sticker and um anyhow if there's enough footage to make an episode out of this we will definitely have it up on the youtube channel the week that this episode airs which is probably sometime early 2020 so this tuesday night at 7 p.m eastern time tune into the pursuit channel and you will get to see all this fish catching action with all of the team and uh, yeah, hope y'all enjoyed all that. It was a lot of chaos. 
please subscribe to the channel subscribe to the directions youtube channel i'll drop that link in the description below and other than that we'll see you guys next time